Okay, I'm back in my car. I managed to get out the door without seeing a snake or a bird. Actually, you know what? I was tussling with that bird because he, she kept, he or she, whoever go hunts for food for their babies in the bird world, went hunting for some more worms and stuff by my screen door. So I sat there and waited till they finished. I was being polite. I always be polite to these darn birds. I don't know why they got to come up and start something with me. What I got, bird head across my head? I'll probably do as much as they untap me. I got my nerves back. My nerves were shot. On a scale from one to ten, my anxiety level was at eleven point five. I got them back down to a three, ish. <laughs> I went and got me one of these. If if you used to smoke, honey, babies, guys, ladies, and you want to go back when any incident happened, go get you a hookah. Because you ain't going to get hooked back on these. These are flavor. They good for you. They ain't bad. Ain't no smoke good for you, but they ain't bad. It's a um, peach mango. So, it got like a little paradise. Peach mango paradise hookah. Got a little flavor to it. Let me see. Can it focus? Peach mango hookah. Hookah at the bottom right there. Hookah. Hookah. So, look. I've been needing this. It actually light up. If it was darker in here, you could see it. Let me see. Mm. All right, I'm gonna go back to work for these 30 minutes. Yes, 30 minutes. And I miss, oh, and another thing for your nerves. The best thing on the market, don't nobody go get no pills or alcohol. If you wanna take a break from alcohol, you wanna just chill, get your nerves under check. Some chamomile tea is the best herbal tea on the market. Normal people, excuse me, drink this for nighttime to relax themselves. I'm drinking it now. Nah. I'm trying to get relaxed. Nah. I got a whole box full in my little thing. It's already warmed up. Yes, that's what you need. Tea and hookahs. I'm trying not to do beer and cigarettes. So, or uh, black and mild. So, <laughs> I'm trying. You know what, though? I'm going to say, there's a little snake I did see today. I had a snake to come. For those who don't know, I had a snake to come to my front door. As I was walking out and going back to work, it was crawl. As I was putting my foot down to go out, it was crawling away from me. So, in other words, I must have scared it. And it just, it. I mean, it just wiggled, wiggled, wiggled away. Which, you know, it should give me a good feeling because, one, it ain't curl off at me and try to attack. And two, it wasn't no venomous snake. It was either a king snake or a black snake. So, I don't know why I'm up here tripping. I, I mean, a snake is a snake. I don't care if it's a queen yellow. Who cares about a queen? I mean, a king black. My dad told me, it's probably a rat snake or probably a grass snake. Probably a pine cone snake, pine straw snake. I don't care if it's a McDonald's snake. It ain't got no business to be at my apartment, though. What's that for? I watched Noah last night, y'all. That movie is good. I am a Noah fan. I'm a Jesus fan. Won't he do it? <sighs> but that movie was good. Now I feel like the, the animal's coming to my door. What you doing at my door? breathing techniques they work too so yeah i experienced a snake at my door then a little birdie came and i don't y'all know i don't like birds so between the birds and the snake today she's done i'm gonna go back in this building here y'all see i'm at work proof in the pudding i'm gonna go back in here for 30 minutes and then i'm going back home unfortunately god is good god don't put more in you can't bear so Peace, people. Bye. No snakes, no birds. <laughs>